Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we had the pleasure, we had the pleasure to uh, present the Apple model. It's a state of art, a bit, uh, made uh, uh, fully in, in Petsovet Rosh, uh, which is in Poland. It's about 700 uh, kilowatts power. It's uh, meant to be uh, used in green uh, port, green shunting areas, uh, uh, reloading stations. And it's very easy way to limit uh, CO2 emissions and bring in the ecology closer and closer to transportation. We built a testing loop, and end of this year, we started the homologation process, which we think should be um, finished by mid next year. Uh, so then, then uh, it's going to be a commercially offer for both um, a commercial users, which is a portal reloading station, or municipalities if they want to use them, which they actually should. Uh, there is a way to get uh, uh, public help for that. There is a way to get uh, some cities. There is a lot of action to it. So we also uh, uh, been experienced in that nature. So we think we can strongly recommend number one the product and number two the whole solution. Uh, hydrogen reloading station and the hot together and then the, the operator comes out. He's called the full remote control and he's maneuvering that locomotive from outside. So that's very important. It's supposed to be very, very efficient and it's obviously a new step for the um, uh, uh, alternative and uh, remotely controlled equipment. We will present that uh, also uh, tomorrow. It's fully remote control. Obviously, we won't send it to Paris on the remote control, but we can we can do the short maneuvers uh, back and forth. Yeah. We use the sashi to cut the homologation time. Because if we start the homologation, it will be the same job. It's only the train, but it's, it's, it's homologated. So for a ruling. We use that advantage to homologate on the hydrogen part. Okay. But 